Greetings guys, this is Magnanimous Minds Lectures Online. We continue treating the Mathematics N3 Test 2 paper which was written on the 29th of October 2019. And now we are doing question 3 which is about trigonometry. The first one says which we should prove that sine squared equals to 1 minus cos squared x. Second one says use basic trigonometries trigonometric identities to prove that tan a plus 1 over sec a equals to sin a plus cos a and then 3.3 says if sin a equals to 3 over 7 and sec b equals to 13 over 5 where a and b are acute angles determine the values of 1 plus tan squared a cos cos sec b 3.4 calculate the values of e that will satisfy the equation for e greater than 0 degrees and less than 360 degrees and the equation it's uh, cos squared plus tan e plus sin squared equals to 2 and 3.5 says draw the graph of 1 over 4 cos x for e I'm sure they made a mistake here it's actually it should be x for x greater than 0 degrees and less than 360 degrees so let's attempt to answer the questions 3.1 says prove that sine squared x equals to 1 minus cos squared x i will use the right hand side to do that so say using right hand side 1 minus cos squared x from the identity which says sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1 we get that cos squared x equals to 1 minus sine squared x we simply make the sub the subject of the form therefore going back here we have one minus one we substitute cos x cos squared x with this so it's going to be one minus sin squared x this will be one minus one plus sine squared x and we left with sine squared x therefore left hand side equals to right hand side and we're done proving and then 3.2 says should prove that tan e plus 1 over sec e equals to sin e plus cos e then this one will use the left hand side tan e over sec e plus 1 equals to sin e over cos e all over 1 over cos e this plus 1 equals to sin e over cos e plus 1 all multiplied by since this is dividing and we come in multiply and Switch them, it's going to be cos a over 1. This gives us sin a over cos a times cos a over 1 plus 1 times this 1 times cos a. All over one 
end up this and this will cancel out we end up the same e over one plus one times cos e over one is cos e over one which is same e plus cos e therefore left hand side equals to right hand side that was question 3.3 then question three point three since we are given the ratios of triangle we have to draw those triangles so the first one is the first angle which is A and the second angle which is B then we're told that uh, sine A is 3 over 7 we know that sine theta equals to opposite over hypotenuse so opposite is 3 hypotenuse is 7 using since uh, trig ratios work in like right angles we know that there's a right angle and we use Pythagoras to determine the other side it's going to be 7 squared minus 3 squared the side is going to be 2 square root of 10 this is our opposite side and we are also told that uh, sec B equals to 13 over 5 and we know that sec B it's 1 over cos 13 over 5. Therefore, our cos equals to 5 over 13. And we know that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So our adjacent is 5 and our hypotenuse is 13. Using Pythagoras again, since there's a right angle, get that 13 squared minus squared equals to 12 so our opposite is 12 and we are told to determine 1 plus 10 squared a cos sec b plus tau squared a cos sec b we know it's 1 over sine B. and when we substitute the values it's going to be tan e tan it's opposite over adjacent tan over so it's going to be 3 over 2 square root 10 all squared times 1 over sine b we know that it's uh, opposite over hypotenuse so it's going to be 12 over 13 this one plus nine over fourteen times thirteen over twelve. Punch this into the calculator plus nine over fourteen times thirteen over twelve. This gives us 199 over 160. Let's see if we punch this 3 double. That will give us 1 plus 3 over 2 square root 10. All square times over 12 over 13. 
and that's what you get 199 over 160 and 3.4 says you should calculate the value for cos squared b plus tan a plus sine squared a cos to 2 you know we organize this since we know this will give us an identity it's going to be sine squared a plus cos squared a plus tan a equals to 2 and we know this is equals to 1 from the identity From this, we get that one plus tan a equals to two, and therefore tan a equals to one, and a equals tan inverse of one. We get our a is punch this into the calculator tan inverse of one. 45 degrees and this is our reference angle so to get the other angles we check the other quadrants where by turn it's positive and that's the third quadrant and to get the angle in that third quadrant since the Cartesian plane is like this, so ninety, one eighty, three sixty, two seventy. So degrees. To get an angle in the side while leaving a reference angle in this quadrant, we simply move like one one eighty degrees. So we just add 180 degrees to that angle. So A2 is going to be 45 degrees plus 180, which gives us 225 degrees. Therefore, A1 equals to 45 degrees and A2 equals to 225 degrees. That's it for question 3.3. Then question 3.5, your two tools draw the graph. We are told to draw the graph. Uh, 1 over 4 cos x equals to y four zero three sixty degrees. So the first thing is to get the y intercept like in other graph y intercept x equals to zero for y equals to one over four cos zero which is going to be 1 over 4, therefore it's 0 and 1 over 4. x intercept y equals to 0, 0 equals to 1 over 4 cos x. Then we divide both sides by 1 over 4, we get 0 equals to cos x and then x reference equals to cos inverse of 0 and then this will give us cos inverse of 0 90 degrees and to get the other angle we whereby Cos it's zero. We add uh, 
one e t to this and then it's going to be 19. going to be 90 plus 180 to be 270 degrees and then from there we sketch our graph Negative one over four. From the general equation, from the equation that we are given, we know that the amplitude is one over four. The y intercept is x equals to zero, and y over four. The other x. And with this the y intercept the x intercept is 90 0 and 270 0 so 19 0 is the x intercept and we know that another maximum is going to be where cos it's cos x will be equals to 1 and that will be at 180 that's our maximum that's our minimum actually that is the maximum amplitude and then our, another x intercept will be, will be at 270.0 and the other maximum it's at uh, 360 so graph will be like Yes. There we go, and we're done with question three and the whole paper. Thank you.